And GB News' is Alice Porter is in New Malden for us this morning. Good morning there, Alice. What is New Malden telling us? What are they telling you? Hi. Hi there. Well, it's been called a mini budget, but it's going to have massive implications for small businesses. And I'm here in Morden speaking with one small business owner, John Merriman. Thank you very much for letting me come to your lovely coffee shop. Thank you for the tea at your lovely coffee shop, Metronome. Um, first, what are your kind of fears and hopes, I guess, for this mini budget we're expecting? All the things that we're hearing so far is that this looks quite radical and for us as a small business we are trying to hold on to stability, trying to make sure that the business is stable for our teams, for our suppliers, for our customers and with so many changes all the time I'm hoping that what we see is a bit more stability though I'm nervous that what we're hearing is that this looks quite radical. Yeah I mean let's talk about the radical aspects. I mean tax cuts sounds great, um, a cut, cut in corporation tax, I mean your business could surely benefit from that? Yeah, we will. Um, uh, corporation tax is expensive, um, but bizarrely we pay zero on our business rates, So, which makes no sense. I would rather pay a little bit more consistently on our business rates and, and know that corporation tax could come down a little bit, because it is very, very expensive for a small business like this. And how are you finding your energy bills at the moment? Because we've got this beautiful coffee shop here, very much in action today, but I know behind me along here we've got a fantastic recording studios, and that's sort of part of your business as well. So I imagine your energy bills are pretty high, but there's, I suppose, good news coming in from the government that you'll have that sort of cap for six months. What are you, your sort of thoughts about that in terms of businesses having that extra support? For us here, our uh, energy bill um, for electricity alone in here in February was 260 a month. Now it's over a thousand each month. So to start capping it now is of no use to us. That is already astronomical and unsustainable. Um, and the same with the studio, even even more so. This is a six months cap. Again, this isn't about stability for the long haul. This is a short term plaster that will, will help us plan for a few months. But I want to be able to have a, a place that's stable for all of our clients and all of our workers for the future. Yeah, and I guess it's it, this is a smaller business, so we'd sort of benefit from it more. But I guess the question is, with larger businesses also having the cap for six months, that's something that some people may say, well, actually, they should be paying more. Yeah, for me, trickle down has never worked. And right now, this isn't the season, even on a micro level here, for me to say, well, if I get more, then I'm OK, and then hopefully it will trickle down. When you see it on that level, on the micro level, it doesn't work on the big scale either, so paying the big, the big bosses more, it doesn't trickle down, and we've known that from the past, so it, it's sad that that is, looks like that's a proposal. And so for you, I think for what you're sort of saying, the overwhelming sort of priority is having consistency. And I suppose if you look at, say, national insurance, to have had that bought in so recently, then that we know as of yesterday that's now changing. That I suppose some people will welcome that, but that is not quite chiming with the consistency that you're wanting for, for you as a, an individual and also as a business. Yeah, totally. Any change here is difficult to manage. We're trying to make sure that our prices are consistent. Um, milk has gone up five times this year already, and we've been told by our supplier it will go up at least once more before the end of the year. So that's just milk. You know, coffee the same. They've had a bad crop the year before, but then coffee imports have gone up. So all of our costs have gone up. Everything's going up. So all we need is consistency. And the government has been so unsettled for so long, and we've had so many changes, that as a small business owner and as a I've networked with lots of the local businesses, the big word that we're looking for is consistency. And so far, I haven't seen that. Well, John, thank you so much for speaking to me and letting me come along to your lovely coffee shop today. I think that gives a flavour of how some business owners are feeling in South London, that there may be radical changes coming in today, but it is the consistency that so many people are wanting after, of course, a very difficult couple of years.